So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned oh, outposts, hold on. a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he Good. was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. All right, so thankfully, I know this part of the game because this is what I played at the uh, Uncharted event I went to. So luckily, I know where most, if not all, see some ruins up yeah, there. if not all of the treasures are. So this should be Wait here, relatively hunt free and uh, more just like picking up oh, your dry cleaning. I still do a lot of traveling these days. Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on. Mm. Also, this part has a lot of dialogue. A lot of talking between the characters, and I actually find it really funny and uh well, nah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. I I probably am not gonna talk over much of it. But uh yeah, let's move on to the next hey, treasure. So luck. What are the odds this volcano is gonna erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4x4. Four four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. Now, I know some of you are probably like, Jesse, why are you running over those rocks? Uh, good question. I don't know. Something compels me to destroy them. Some men just want to watch the world burn. All right. There's a treasure in here because it's behind a waterfall. And that is how secrets work. Refreshing. <laughs> All right. So I believe there's both a book and a treasure back here. And a frog. All right. Let's hook this. I'm really interested why, I guess because this area represents sort of everything you can do in Uncharted. But when I was at the event, I'm curious why this is what they gave us. Maybe because it's just enough story? Note. Speaking of story. Mm, anything on the back? No. Okay. Read. Captain Harrison. It has been three days since you and our regiment set out for the towers, and our hopes that you might find and apprehend Captain Avery have dwindled along with our supplies. Discovering this pirate hideaway after years of false leads bolstered the confidence of my men, but after three days of cowering in this damp cave, they grow restless and fearful. They do not wish to starve here, or worse, return to King's Bay empty-handed. Therefore, in direct defiance of your orders, come morning we shall take what supplies and armaments we can carry from this place, and head to the towers ourselves. There, by God's good grace, we shall capture Avery and bring him to face justice. God willing, we shall rendezvous with you there. Well, that's that, but what else is in my notebook? What else did I get? Hold on. Let me look. Uh, Jeep rental receipt? Oh, that's pretty great. Suspension package, none. After hours pickup, none. Primary driver? Oh, we put it in Sully's name? And then the quote-unquote worthless coin. Oop, oh, wrong way. Ooh. BB Lava. Tastes the same as back home. Real beef my ass. Fastburger has a Varanga bowl in Madagascar? Sully got it. Shredded beef on rice. Call Elena and there's her information. Don't do that. Don't, don't call Elena, guys. Even though I'm curious if that number works. It actually doesn't look like a real number. Although, if they were clever, there would be an Easter egg where if you called her on that phone number, it'd be Elena answering the phone like, Sorry, I'm not here right now. Waiting for my stupid-ass husband who's always out on adventures, leaving me behind. Beep. I think that's all the treasures in this area. Uh, everything else is after the bridge, so we're good. Hello, gentlemen. There's a cave behind the waterfall. No shit? Yeah, no shit. You should know this. That's Treasure Hunting 101. 
clean off my Jeep a little bit. And back in the mud. <laughs> it's basically every time you get your car washed. The minute it's clean, it's dirty again. All right. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Good, we're going to cross it. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. I love how the mud gets stuck in your tire. That's so cool. Man. It's the little thing. It's the little things. And speaking of little things. <laughs> Don't hate my enjoyment. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Oh, Jesus, I'm headed the wrong way. Keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on right now. Be ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Don't think I can get my Jeep up there. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. You got something, kid? Yeah, something to do. Come on. Get Nate? Nate? There we go. Punch. Who made these cairns? Must be a trail marker. Let's keep an eye out for them. It's because I don't want anyone to follow me. That's Thanks why I'm doing it. Must be a trail marker. <laughs> this part is just weave around a mountain and don't fall off. Great. I can do that. Fingers crossed. There we go. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Okay. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this oh, way. Very convenient for us. Oh! Lemurs! I will destroy your shrine. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. And now I gotta go over there. Okay. <laughs> hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off road, it might rain, might be muddy. I'll bet we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. Hang on tight. Oh, oh, shit. Hold on, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, this part sucks. Uh hey, take this slow, kid. Yeah. Yep. Nope. Ran right into a bush. Alright, back up. That's fine. By the way, was that a mountain cat of some sort that jumped out of that tree? Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. All right. Stick to the rocks to get up this part. And, uh... Over the cliff. Great. <laughs> Speaking of and wench, go. Sully. And no. That was a valiant effort. We got it. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. All right. Up this way. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. Definitely ruins from Avery's era. Then we wrap it, we strap it, and then we go get some loot. Boop. There. That ought to do it. <clears throat> okay, that was a total miss. <laughs> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, 
This certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Well, you're right, but I do intend to pick something up from the gift shop. I wanted that so bad, I went through the box. Um... So that's... Avery and two, other notable captains, and then Condent Sigil. Great. But what I really meant to do was check on my treasure progress. Yeah, zero question marcos. Perfect. Question marcos? <laughs> I'm not sure what language that is. I imagine it's the name of a person. Marcos, the guy who sold us this Jeep. Don't question him. Zero question marcos. Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Oh, Sully, you're such an Eeyore. All right. Moving right along. We'll go this way. Oh. Oh, or get stuck on a rock. That's fine. I thought rocks were my friends. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine. You've come here. A well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. I could have here. swore there was a treasure over here. Remember in my video, there was like a one in some ruins just sitting on a box? It's taking forever to get Where's to this that? volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. But the point is, oh, we got there it pretty is. easy. Yeah, well, still taking a long time. All right, it should just be right Let's on this here. box right here. Yeah. Something. The next treasure is one that I did not find in my preview video. Let's roll. It's one that I watched another guy at the event find. So, uh, yeah, I learned where that one was because it's just out of the way. And when I, I just didn't look over there. So, hooray for the guy I watched from some other channel. Do better than me. <laughs> I'm stealing his work. Hey, Nathan, check out that cave there. Uh, one sec. Now bring me back something nice. Ready to go. How oh, would you look at that? Oh shit, stop, stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? <sighs> That's the good news. And that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. See, even the game wants me to sneak around now. It's like, shh. Don't shoot people, dummy. I can do that. I can do that game. Maybe. 
Maybe. We'll find out. All right. Park here. And then the tall grass creeping begins. Let's uh, tag some of these fools. So we got that guy, and that guy, and that guy, and that guy. I know there's a sniper up there. That guy. You know, when you've done a thing in this game before, it makes it so much easier. Oh, and that guy. I think there's two more? I don't remember. Thank God I did this part. This might be the fastest part of the damn playthrough. How exciting. Okay, so I feel like we target... Which guy? Um... Probably snipers. We take out the two snipers first? Um... Hmm. Is that a dude? Alright. When he moves, we're gonna... Go across, and then sneak around him? Oh, God, here we go. And this is a nothing. Oh, my God, this is a nothing. Okay, uh... Uh... Can I stay here? Is this... Oh, my God. All right, yeah, let's go. Nope, nope, you don't see... You don't see... Ah, shit, you don't see nothing. No way I imagine that. It's just us... Madagascarian chickens. Yeah, tricked him. Okay, let's try this again. We'll go around this side and sneak up behind him there. Oh boy. Okay. And then we'll just jump up here and... Good, good. Take the sniper rifle. And... Well, I'm not really going to use it. That's going to cause a commotion. I could hit those barrels. But then I'd definitely be in a gunfight with the guys who didn't get killed. So... Step two is probably go around. Go up the top. Take out the other sniper. Uh, actually, maybe take this guy out right here. So many options. So many men to put to sleep. Send them to bed. Yeah, let's take out this guy. Go around the side and up. So these guys right here can't spot me. This dude should be an easy pull down, yeah? Can I get up there? Come on. Come on. Let me up there. Oh, okay. So I have to wait, oh Jesus, I have to wait patiently. Maybe I can do it right now, actually. Hold on, hold on. Hello! And that guy is the worst friend ever. Good. <laughs> Good, be a dum-dum. I don't know that I can take him out. But, we can probably go around now and go up to the top. I think it's inside, up the inside, and up the out. <laughs> that sounds like a 90s song lyric. Up the up the outside, up the inside, up the out. She was breaking my heart in the 90s. Up the outside, inside, the out. Uh-oh. Okay, I think it's the other side. I don't know if there's a way to get up there this way. So it's like... <laughs> Close call. You're telling me, man. Good thing everyone on this side is completely incapacitated, or else this would be a problem. And then... I guess we hit this other platform, yeah? Can anyone see me? Oh my god, there's so many people. Uh, yeah. And then up. Oh. This is dumb, dumb. Too busy looking at, I guess, butts. I don't know. Yeah! Wonderful. Take his weapon too. Okay. Um, I think, 
Actually, uh, let me check and see if there's any more guys. Hmm. Ooh, I see you. Now, if I was a badass and a good shot, I could take everyone out from up here, but, uh, I am none of those things. So instead, we're gonna drop down on this guy. Uh, not from here, because I would die, but maybe from here. Oh my god, he can see- What? what Drake, no! Drake, jump! Ah, fucking- Well, there goes the element of surprise. Oh my god. Okay, or stand on a barrel. That's cool, an exploding barrel. Oh my- Okay, ow. Ow, right in the ass. Well, they all quickly appeared. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? You know what, Nathan? Just- Punch this guy in the up and face. Get him! There we go! Move! Move! They're behind you! They're all behind you! Just go! Ah, Jesus criminy! Okay, alright, let's just hide! No, don't find that target! Hide! Oh my god! Alright, I can take this guy- Ah! Get wrecked, fool! Okay, keep going, keep going! If we can get far enough away, I can snipe these guys. Prove my worth. Holy shit. Okay, well, there are four of them all over in that area. Are they all there? Oh my god, can I snipe them through? Okay, I can't do it that way. <laughs> what about this way? Whoop, there's a miss. Ah, crap. That one didn't. And that's, okay. Two for, two for four. That's 50%, that's not bad. I hit that guy, he's probably hurt. Okay, come on. There we go! Oh, come, what? Well, this guy's an asshole. There we go. Let's try, little brother. Huh? There's clearly one more. Where is he? It's a guy I didn't mark. He's here somewhere. I don't see him. Oh, God! All right, there he is. Oh, he keeps going into hiding. Oh, that's not good. Can I lure him out? Like, hello? You think I'm pop shots? He's up there somewhere. I need to get him out in the open. All right, let's try this. Hello, shoot me! Hey, there he is. And we'll come like this and finish the job. Ah, that's how you do it. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Not if we don't stumble on it through blind luck <laughs> before them. Speaking of which. Let me go inside. He actually, ooh, grenade? Yes, please. That'll be useful. Uh, yeah. Inside. Look, another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Sapper of you. battery life. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books. All right, cool. Uh, is there anything else in this area? Actually, no, there isn't. It's go back to my car and call it a day. So, the next part is we cross over the bridge, and I think three treasures? Maybe two. I don't remember. Things are a little fuzzy at this point. I probably had too much to drink. <laughs> it was free, guys. That's okay. We'll get in here. We'll do this little bridge segment, and then we'll find out together. Where's the... Oh, there it is. I got lost just trying to get to the bridge. Great. This next part should be fantastic. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. I got it. Get out of here. 
This winch man coming in handy. Tell me I'm wrong again, Sully. Sully. Right. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. What the hell? Why couldn't I get up there? There we go. As I bang into everything. <laughs> All right, so the next one is... Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. So Rafe's got the advantage there. So there's one up in these ruins, I believe. Stay put. Happy hunting. <laughs> Oh, I've got the whole world in my hands. The whole world in my hands. So the next few, I only know because the devs told and showed me. I'm good. Let's they go. are legit some of the most ludicrously, like, hidden slash, like, you need to do this, this, and this to get it. I never would have figured it out on my own. I think the next three I know, and after that, if there are any more, I don't have a clue because I did not experience that. So, we're back to fresh new content. Look, shoreline. I'm trying to look. Yeah, there we they're go. They're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Staying in the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other platforms. Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Y'all ready for this? Because this is just part one of insane treasure finding. So watch this. You can't actually climb up this thing unless you do this. I never would have put two and two together on that one. Then you'll notice there's nothing up here. Nothing at all except these barrels and wood. I wonder what happens now. Let's actually use this gun. Like, I was lucky to stumble on the one you had to blow up earlier in that cave. This I never would have figured out. <laughs> had I not known going into this, never would have figured it out. Uh, yeah, there it is. How crazy is that? Uh, there was another one of those pistols back there, but it's just a pistol, and you fire it, and it goes pop. That makes, like, a smoke thing, and then, it, then you run out of it. And that's it. I know someone in the comments on a previous okay. video was very Probably interested what we in what that did. About, um, oh, right. <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Hey, is that a well? It is, and it's the location of our next insane treasure. Well, well, well. <laughs> Boo. Get it? You know, because it's a well. Sully, you stole your joke. I noticed. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? 
It might come in handy. The dialogue in this game is brilliant. Okay. Yeah, down we go. Mm. What have we here? What have we here? Okay, yeah. So this is... You have to go across here. And then come across without getting it tangled on other shit. There's something to read there. Then go over here and wrap it around this. My god. Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. I probably would have figured this one out, but it would have taken me much longer than this. Because you can see the treasure up there, and then this creates a way to get to those beams to climb up to it. That's pretty cool. All right. What have we here? Read. Damn. These pirates weren't messing around. The signal fires were lit last night, and like clockwork, another group of would-be bounty hunters and glory seekers wandered heedlessly into our encampment. They put up a good fight, killing a number of our fellows, but the outcome was never in doubt. Two regiments sent by the East India Company defeated in as many days. For their sake, I hope they learned their lesson. Their self-righteous Lieutenant Sherwood lived long enough to slander Captain Avery, pledging us a large share of the bounty and a full pardon in exchange for Avery's whereabouts. Avery is offering us something greater than gold, I said, just before putting an end to his insults with my sword. Our losses aside, this lot of British pigs were much better stocked than the last. We shall make good use of their boots and pistols. Well, that is the, uh, follow-up to that dude I found earlier. Okay, so now we go across this beam about as carefully as possible, like this, and then we jump onto those. Oh, oh! Or, or we fall into bacteria-ridden water that has been down here for I don't even know how long. The, f the thing that finally kills Drake? Bacteria. I get a virus, I die in my bed. Oh, God! Just to, just to make sure, let's jump back in. Okay, this time, we're just gonna do the old-fashioned look straight down and carefully walk and do a little turn. See, he's already rubbing himself like, oh, God. Something's in me. Ooh, that is a dead pirate. Okay, what do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, letter cylinder. Okay. Excellent. Pirate, you got anything for me? See, I wish I could take a sword. That'd be so much better. All right. And then, uh, how do I get out? Like that. Cool. Thanks, Sully. So? Nothing major. I'll show you back at the hotel. Now, there are two more in this area. One is in a cave, and it's like over there-ish. And one is on top of a mountain. All right, what are you talking about again? Um, oh, right. That'd be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. It's over here somewhere. I just don't quite remember where. So, Pirate walks into a bar. Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, it's driving me nuts. Hey oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, make me leave you out here. It's up here somewhere. I just... Alright, that's the path I need to go on, because that's where the trucks were going. The cave that I need to go to is right over there, so it's here. Somewhere. 
it's, it's the very pinnacle, I believe. The question is, how do I get up there? I didn't do this part. A dev was showing me, so... I don't have that. Oh, Jesus. Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Look, if it ain't what we're looking for right now, it's none of my concern. My concern is how to drive this damn thing up to the top of this mountain. I don't even know that it's possible. Uh, Let's actually get out and just check. I'm going to hop out for a look. I just don't stay out past curfew, all right? Oh, you. No, this is down. So, I need to go up? How do I do that? How did he get up here? God help me, I cannot remember. Yeah, so this is the only major hill in the area, so it has to be... Up there? Mm -hmm. And that is a wall, and that is a cliff. Is it as simple as just going? Oh my god, it's like right up here. Okay. I probably could have driven up this area. Maybe there's a tree there. I don't know. And steps. I'll be back. Jeez. Come on, get up. Get up there, Nate. Yeah, here it is. Oh, God, I thought I was going crazy. I thought I imagined a thing. I'm not going to lie to you. It should. Oh, there it is. Beep. Perfect. Ye old D20. Uh, yeah, let's knock down these. Get out of here, rocks. Technically, it's called a cairn. Yeah, I, I don't like to say that word. It's not a Oh, no wonder the rocks didn't let me up the cliff earlier. I keep knocking down their friends. What? What? That wasn't that... Oh, my God. Don't knock over rock piles. Sacred, sacred rock piles. There's our lesson. Although, it might have worked out for the best. I think I'm actually closer to the cave, yeah? Actually, no, this doesn't look right. This is, yeah, the exit. Okay, this is where I'm supposed to go. So, I need to head all the way back down here to get to the cave. Oh, boy. So, it wasn't that great. Turns out death, not that great. Okay, here we go. I think... We can just drive on in, yeah? Check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. I think this is big enough to drive through. All I know is on the other side are a bunch of guys trying to kill me, so... This should be fun. More shoreline idiots. Yep. Okay, this time, let's try and be sneaky. Is there oh, okay. Thought there was a guy right there. Oh, there was! There was a guy right there! Is that it? Five dudes? Okay. Hmm, I think so. Okay, well, I can take out five guys. Especially five spread out guys, I can take these dudes. Silently, without a problem. Okay, we will hide here. And then we'll roll. Oh, Jesus. Don't be seen. <laughs> Don't be seen. Can I sneak up on this guy in the grass and yank his ass down? Or is someone going to see that happen? Oh, there's a guy right there who'd see it. Okay, so my best bet is to take out this guy. 
How do I even... Oh, my God. Okay, please don't look over here, sir. Oh, Jesus. Uh... Cricket noises? Uh... Boy, that's an interesting bird behind you. Okay, there he goes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I just... Get be oh my god, Nate, just get Nate? Nate? F it, let's just do this. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. Okay, great. Alright. Again, this guy maintains Oh shit. He maintains to be a problem with that other guy over there. So let's just go around and get that other guy. Uh that guy? Still a problem. <laughs> he can still see me? Holy shit. Does he look away? No, he doesn't. All right. Well, maybe I can get undercover before he spots me. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Criminy. There's a... All right. Well, so there's a guy there. I just need to make sure they're all looking away when I take them out. And there's that guy up there. If I can get... Oh, shit, and then there's this guy. Well, he's new. So we take this guy out and then get the guy up there? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, let's do it then. Okay, and then... Oh, Lord. How do we get up there? How do I... How do... Okay, well we can't go that way, so how do I get how do I get up there? We should oh, just Jesus. blow it up ourselves. If we happen to find the treasure, we just skim a little fine as the upper top. Don't even think about it. I'm not about to have Nadine hang me because of you. No, there's definitely something down there. No one will know. She'll know, the rest of the crew will know, and we'll be dead. Yeah, but I I'm tired, so please stop it. <laughs> yeah, so that's a clue as to where the treasure is in this area. But uh <laughs> Take a picture, asshole. All right. There's a shotgun, but nope. We'll keep that sniper rifle. How the hell do I even... Oh, my God. All right. So we need to take out this guy first and then take out those last two guys. And that one dude... Uh, is he just going to face this direction? <laughs> This is so jank. Okay, that's fine. I can sneak up on this guy. I imagine from this way? <laughs> Just sneak on in and hope for the best. Turn the other way, dum-dum. Or... Kneel down there. Let me do this! Hmm? Oh, God! That worked. That worked. I'll take it. I'll take it. That worked. Oh, my God. What the hell? Just hide. Hide. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't... I'm just <laughs> running around like an idiot right now. Trying to get something to work. So I probably should take out this guy first, because the other guy is just going to face towards the well. And this guy can watch him, so... Yeah. Alright. Let's go like this! Good. And this last guy is such a dummy, I can walk up to him, yeah? Yeah, he's not even going to look. You big dumb dumb. Hey! We did it. And then we shoot these barrels. Think we're clear. Yeah, we're good. You might want to move away from this, fellas. Cool. Hey, look. Anything in that pit? We're about to find out. Check it out. Hey, maybe there's something down there. <laughs> but there is. Dead, dead pirates and stuff. But also... Glittering gold. In the form of whatever the hell that... What is that? 
Oh, bandolier. All right, cool. Well, that's all I know of this area from what the dev showed me. So from now on, it's back to old-fashioned Jesse exploration. Oh, boy. UFO commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. UFO commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future. Where everyone talks like they're from the future. Hello, there, old sport. It's me, Jess Cox, number one out of the plan. The me, please, the tip top shape, I'm swell shape. And I'm gonna make a fortune for buy us more balls. Shut the balls up! UFO commander, we are the future. We're gonna take you to the future. Then we're gonna get to the future Where everyone talks like they're from Jump the balls up! UFO commander, we are the future We're gonna take you to the future Then we're gonna get to the future Where everyone talks like they're from Jump the balls up! Give me that! No! 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 <laughs>